All right, we did it. All right, chill. So, yeah, we did get Wolf uh, versus Inkling. I actually, you know, for two of the best characters in the game, I haven't seen this matchup all that much. Um, really? Yeah. So I don't actually know how this goes. They're both really good. Um, Wolf has, like, one of the best neutrals in the game. Smash attacks for free. One of the best smash attacks yeah. in the game. Not laggy whatsoever. One of the best projectiles in the game. Slightly nerfed, but not really all that badly. Oh my god, X Axe is low key destroying him right now. Yeah, no, uh, uh, the thing We're about. We're talking about Inkling. Wolf and X. <laughs> Inkling's just like destroying him right now. Oh, okay, I mean, there goes Charlie, too. Yeah, Charlie's yeah. combo is going to be a little ridiculous. Dude, but, Charlie uh, is always a combo fiend. No matter what character, no matter what game he's playing, he just learns combos that it's like he, no and one And then he does. perfects them. Yeah, yeah, wow. Okay, killing with that up air, that is such a strong move. Inkling's kill, his damage output and his kill power is ridiculous. His, his damage output reminds me a lot of Olimar, where like it just comes out of nowhere. You just <laughs> yeah. you look at your percent, and you're like, how the heck did I get to 85? And it, then he up throws up the air ink, to you. Probably. And you just, like, yeah, the ink is a big factor. His jab does like 20%. Oh, stupid. Nuts. There what? we go. He just like <laughs> spit it in his face. Like, okay, I don't even know. Jabbed in the air. That was weird. That was crazy. Oh that that was a really oh interesting God. option that he this threw dude out. just tried to unplug something next to us and it made me so nervous. Yeah, no. I thought he was going to ruin everything. <laughs> I thought the whole stream was going to shut down. That was <laughs> anyway. That was scary. Uh, but yeah, another thing too is I'm not really seeing uh, Exax utilize Splat Bomb uh, right now in this matchup, but I wonder if that's because Charlie is just applying the pressure so much just constantly being in his face here. I think it's the other, it's partially too because uh, Wolf's laser is probably slightly better. In, the, in that situation, mm, like yeah. you, can, you can laser and then get out of the way of the bomb before it explodes. So it's probably uh, it's probably more optimal for XX to just kind of play the close range game, use his uh, really wonky dash to get in and kind of mix up the timing of his uh, his approaches. Yeah, no, no. Nice stuff from Charlie though. He basically got zero to death in the beginning and he has brought this back to an even game and actually was winning until right now. Uh, they're both playing really well. XX looking for that roller. It was a really safe uh, roller. If Charlie had rolled any other way, he would have uh, been punished pretty hard. Yeah, I wonder why XX didn't finish, uh, finish his jab there. He kind of just like jabbed them, pop, and then he just went for like a forward air, uh, which I mean is also a good option. All of Inkling's aerials are pretty solid. Maybe he just didn't want to waste the ink. I don't know. Not sure. All right, going to get that throw. Get forward throw. I don't think I've actually ever seen Inkling's forward throw yeah, like in like while I was commentating. That was at a percent where up throw up air might have worked too. So uh, the fourth throw was interesting. Probably just wanted stage control, but Wolf was able to get right back. So kind of interesting it's, decision. Yeah. Not sure. But yeah, we're definitely going to be yeah looking for that up air or those backers. You kind of see he's kind of just waving in and out um, on the ground because Inkling's moving movement is super sick, really good, um, and constantly you just never know what they're going to throw out. XX has scary. been doing a really good job of capitalizing right when Inkling's confirms uh, kill. Yeah. Because once you get past that point, roller is their their main way to to kind of try to take that stock, and it becomes a lot more readable. Like, Ooh. it's just stray aerials after that. But XX has been capitalizing so, like, right now, he's probably going to get a couple more hits and then look for that grab. Like, right now, if he gets up throw up air, I think he wins the game. Yeah, no, definitely. Uh, <coughs> Charlie is definitely at that kill percent for XX, so he's probably just going to be searching for uh, that short hop back air, maybe get that grab, go for that back throw, or, like you said, those uh, up airs that are taking those stocks. Every time, pretty early too. Yeah. Ooh, wow. How did he know? Yeah. This man straight up walked up, shielded, knew Charlie was gonna try to drop down with either a back air or an air, and just up smash. Super big call out, and it works out. And yeah. XX uh, takes game one. He kind of called out his jump there, just knowing, like, hey, yeah. what? You know, Wolf's like to jump a lot in my face. I'm gonna call it out with the up smash. You're at kill percent. Dead. Bye. See you later. I was talking to Charlie earlier, and he was like, "There's no room to play bad today. I have to play good the whole day." So, so we'll see what he does here in game two. If he makes any adjustments or. He just uh, cleans it up a little bit. He oh, was yeah. he was falling victim to a lot of like little confirms. It wasn't really big moments for XX. XX was just consistently winning neutral over and over, and then uh, capitalizing on kills a lot earlier than Charlie. Yeah, I mean it wasn't uh, Charlie it wasn't losing like terribly, but at the same time it was just yeah XX was really holding the center stage and um, yeah applying a lot of pressure. Good start here for yeah, Charlie. Though. Start. He's already going to get him to about 60 probably before he loses advantage. Yeah. Well, that up tilt. <laughs> oh, oh, he dropped kidding. from the ledge. He got the two frame. No, I think he had already grabbed the ledge. Oh, and wait, he, he tried really? to jump down and uh, Yeah, he tried to drop down and forward air. I think. Right, you right. I'm pretty sure. I could be dead wrong. Yeah, but. no, that move's still good. And yeah, the knockback, yeah, it's like not it's even the nerfed. nerf. It's been nerfed two times. Two times. It's been nerfed two times, and, and it still knockback. killed him at 60. Yeah. <laughs> the knockback's like basically the same. But it's fine, same. right? Everything, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, 
Dang, Charlie. Yeah, fun, yeah remember when I, I said <laughs> that Charlie was gonna clean it up? Yeah, no, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Yeah, th definitely too. Uh, when it, when you get your uh, counter stage pick too, that could be a game changer. Yeah. So yeah, we're definitely seeing that already. Charlie taking the stock advantage, and uh, wow, Exax already at 114 yeah, percent. Where did I'm that saying. come from? Charlie racked up the damage super what? quick. That was a crazy forward air. That forward air is so deceptive. It never looks like it should kill. Like the it's <laughs> disjointed. Yeah, it yeah. has a the disjoint's crazy on it. You don't expect to split to just elongate that. Like, excuse me. She's got Tim's on, dude. <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> what what's happening? Well, I guess he, but this is like. Oh my bad. Uh, I'm not gonna assume the gender. Actually, I can't. I've never, I've never even looked at an Inkling character for more than like ten <laughs> seconds to be honest. I, I actually really love this character uh, scheme, like how it looks, like the colors and everything. Yeah, I really like it's that like they changed. The, yeah, all of their, all of the Inkling designs are really cool. Oh yeah. Uh, I like that they're unique, kind of like, um, like skins in this game, not just like color swaps. They're actually different characters. No, yeah, I like that too. Definitely. Super All cool right. Skins. XX slowly but surely bringing this back. If he can get this edge guard and uh, not allow, Ooh. yeah, that was a hey. bad choice. He from held Charlie it out too. Why did Charlie just get up? I think he baited it. He thought because get up, up, get up attacks are invincible in this game. So I think Charlie thought it was going to reach him, and XX was just in the perfect space to just hold the the charge through the invincibility and then get a punish. Yeah, that was just so interesting because you saw him hold F yeah. a down smash, just the bucket. He was just it waiting was, to just, yeah, end his stock. It was just really good spacing on XX's part. Uh, it was oh, the perfect okay. part where it would still hit, but it tricked Charlie into thinking that he could get the get-up attack. Right, 66, though, it doesn't wow, seem to be phasing him at all. Once Charlie takes advantage, it's been nuts. There's no way to punish that forward smash yeah, safely. That's, that's what I was to say. Like, he can literally just throw that out for free. Yeah. It's not lagging whatsoever. But yeah, this is um this is a scary situation for Exax here. I see him talking to himself a little bit in frustration, being like, yeah. you know what? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. That's the uh, first time that Charlie's called out the get up attack, so Exax is gonna have to find another way back onto the stage. That like works. That? <laughs> yeah, that works. <laughs> what? Wow, good parry there from uh, Charlie. Gets him off stage one more time. Utilizing that move too, like that, is actually really smart. It's like you were saying, inking, uh, getting that extra like uh, ink damage to, well, the ink on you, which will therefore do more damage if you get hit. It's kind of like Shulk with uh, Buster, you know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. So that's actually a pretty smart option for him to use there. Charlie finally finds that back air. I think that's the first one he's hit all game, or uh, all set, takes game two. This is, uh, this is a really pivotal point for both players. You really don't want to go to losers in this tournament. Like if you go to losers, I don't see you winning the tournament. It's yeah. just, it's too stacked. It's going to be and a hard run. There's too many killers that are going to also fall down into losers bracket. You're going to have to play like 16 really good players back to back to back. It's going to be super grueling. So no, this, this is a big game. Oh, yeah, this is stressful. This is like already we're getting this game. Yeah, and this I feel like, like it just three, started. I think. This is probably round three. This tournament just started. I just got here. And this is like, <laughs> We what? just got here. This is insane. No, this is this is awesome too. Usually I'm, I'm used to commentating a lot of like the earlier sets. Not getting to see a lot of like the PR players and stuff. Uh, right. play. But yeah, going uh, to Pokemon Stadium 2 here. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. It kind of is like a mixture of like Battlefield and then just having like FD. You only have two stages. Right. Kind of like a far out stage. It's going to be pretty, pretty even. Again, once once one of these guys gets advantage state, they really don't give it up. Zero yeah. to eighty-four, basically unanswered there for for XX, and now Charlie's probably gonna swing right back with this down throw. Gets the oh, tech wow. chase. They're so consistent with their punishes. Charlie drops it there just a little bit, but forty-seven is still not bad. Oh, this could be a stock. Okay. He got out. That was such a fast match. Yeah, that was fast. I was like, is he dead? But oh, it yeah, doesn't no, matter because dead. XX gets the up throw up air confirm, and that's what I'm talking about. If, if XX had put like 10 more percent on him, that confirm wouldn't have worked, and Inkling would have had such a harder time finding that kill, but he just found it at the perfect percent. And Charlie's not avoiding it at proper times. Like, when you're at that percent, you have to avoid the grab at all costs. Yeah, Whoa, we... that was wonky. Mm -hmm. That's why he doesn't do his flat grenade, because his yeah. laser literally deflects it. That makes sense. It just destroyed it, actually. It just obliterated it. Yeah. But yeah, I can definitely see why um, he's not using that as much. Charlie okay. needs this. He needs this edge Yeah, guard. no, definitely. That's what I was saying. Usually, we're actually seeing Exax capitalize a lot more off stage, but I feel like Wolves are actually a little more hesitant to play anything off stage. They just want to get the ledge traps. Uh, put you in a really bad situation. Uh, probably get like an F smash, F tilt at the ledge. And yeah, they can't really go off stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, they have right. to kind of just ledge, ledge trap and yeah. wait there for Both you. Both characters don't really want to risk going off stage because once they're there, like, Inkling has a better time than Wolf for sure, but 
uh, Charlie can just time the down smash at the ledge if mm -hmm. uh, X-Action misses. Yeah, see, it deflects what? it and it explodes back at him. That's nutty. Yeah, that's actually. Anyway, x -Action in a really good position right now. Uh, I think 116 is around where he can get a grab. And he's looking, look, he's holding shield. He's just waiting for Charlie to mess up the aerial on shield. Oh, but that man. works too. Again, gets the mash out. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie's playing Mario Party, dude, when he gets uh, <laughs> when he gets roller. He does not want to lose his stock to that. No, yeah, this is scary too, because this is basically even at this point. Oh my god, he's two. on fire. He's on fire. Okay, wow, almost coming to that down smash killing. Is that gonna be enough? That was a big buzz kill for Charlie, though. That's a big momentum swing when you get all that damage and then okay. don't find the kill. How did he live? Yeah, no, I don't know how he lived. That was godlike DI, but that splat bomb, too, setting it up right there, kind of like creating a screen. Wasn't even being able to see that. This is this is close. XX went for the same call out that he went for in game one, and it didn't work. Charlie spaced his back up perfectly oh, so man, he didn't get up smashed. They're both playing really well, honestly. No, that's what I'm saying. This is, this is gonna be like so even. This is this is the point where it gets so hard for Inkling though. If she doesn't find or if he doesn't find uh, back throw, eh, back throw doesn't even kill from the center. So um, Inkling has to get a raw aerial or a roller or a back throw, and all of them are really easy to. Well, that, what? Down throw? That was a miss input. I that had to be a miss input. Don't know why he did that. That should have been back throw free. It was either a miss input or maybe he thought that. Charlie was at such a high percent that the DI mix-up would kill him, but it did not work out, and now Charlie gets a second lease on life, and how that's not something you want to give to Charlie, how ever. How are they both holding on to the stunt for so to, long? They, they want to win, dude. Charlie almost at 200% here. That dash, dash attack going to kill it, though. It. 197. Yeah, they wow. both want this super bad. Like I said, this is a terrible, terrible tournament to go into losers, so neither of them want to lose this set. They're playing so safe. Charlie oh, gets a big opening. He reads the jump here. off the platform. Yeah, this is definitely where Exact needs oh, to take no. the stock right now. He's this getting antsy for it, too. He's going off stage for forward airs. He put himself in disadvantage just to try to get the stock. This is where Inkling really struggles, and Charlie is just going to try to manipulate the situation as much as possible. Oh, man. Yeah, this is I'll looking throw? pretty. Oh, no, he just jabs. Pretty rough here. He needs to take the stock right now because he's getting a little too high. <laughs> Charlie's literally percent. running. Like, he's just running away and then getting a little chip damage. That's it. Finally seals it out with an aerial. Yeah, is it enough, though? I mean, okay, so Inkling's low percent combos, like we said, his damage appears out of nowhere. So, x can totally do this. Oh, Nair to That would have killed before the patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, reads wow. it with a back air, and Charlie yeah. is going to take it over XX. XX gets up very quickly, not happy with that one. Yeah, look at that roll up. Yeah, no. Charlie with the frame one roll up of the controller. Honestly, Ready Charlie just was, once he had his momentum going, he was just relentless and kept up with it. And I right. think XX was just getting a little too tilted over not being able to kill him. He lived right. at 200%. You know, it's That's crazy. frustrating. That's yeah. the first stock where XX didn't get his kill confirmed when he needed it. Yeah. And it, it's when it mattered most. And Charlie was like, oh, yeah. you finally didn't get your up 